Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the Savannah State Tigers traveling to take on the Delaware State Hornets. Tigers are 1-0 on the season. Last week, completely throttled NCAA and State. And they're looking to do the same thing in their second ACC matchup. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sport host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. And the weather is absolutely gorgeous for today's game between the Tigers and the Delaware State Hornets. It's been stop hard hitting football so far early in the season and we hope to continue that as the season goes on. And here come the Hornets. The Hornets come into this game expecting a win. I tend to agree with that. How about you, Herbie? Delaware State is led offensively by their quarterback, and he's the number one picking them to win this game. I look for him to spread this defense out and attack them from every direction. Big game today by the quarterback. I picked my way this morning. Here we go. I'm taking the Hornets. <laughs> All right, there you have it. The coach has made his pick. Let's go down to the captains at midfield for today's coin toss. So in a big surprise, they're all taking Delaware State to win this game, even though Savannah State put up 78 points last week on the Aggies. And here's a nice first down run for the fullback, Gary. So the Tigers moving down the field quickly so far. Jeremy Carroll slinging the tater right now. <laughs> it's Jarmel Lewis past midfield, or up to midfield rather. And Carroll's going to slang it again. Over the middle, caught by Zay Jones for another first down. Head coach Seth Maddox said that Jeremy Carroll did a great job slanging the tater last week, but here's a fumble from MJ Gator Jr., the first of the season for that young man. And Maddox also said they're still looking for their number one wide receiver, and it's still a little too early in the season to really find him yet. But they'll get there. Delaware State taking a shot left side. Miller's got it, and Lee Jr. takes him down, saving the touchdown. Maddox loved what he did last week, of course. He had that pick six with a huge return. And there's a touchdown for the Delaware State Hornets in between Lee Jr. and Chris Numa. Just a perfectly placed pass. Tigers are going to try some exotic blitzes this week as well. Possibly getting some safety blitzes in there. That was a nice catch by Barber, the halfback. Carroll going to sling it again. He's hit as he throws it. And Delaware State actually gets a stop. They're back on offense, taking a shot left side, caught by Robertson, or Roberson. I'm not sure which pronunciation is the correct one. But he's going to have another catch here and picks up seven or eight yards. And Patrick Horn, the quarterback for the Hornets, is doing quite well for himself already. Beverly, nice spin move, but he's going to lose three yards on the run. That was Ewing on the tackle. That brings up fourth and six. And the Tigers have the ball now. MJ Gator Jr. picks up 12 yards. He's got 22 yards today. And they're going to go option here. Carroll out to Gator Jr. He's going to get the first down and more. Look at the blazing speed. He is unreal. Carroll to the air again. MJ Gator Jr. wide open. And he'll get another first down. Third and ten. There's a lot of third and tens today so far already here in the first quarter. Jeremy Carroll's going to take off and use his legs to pick up the first down. Great play for the pocket passing Jeremy Carroll. And they'll go play action here. Barber wide open on the right side, and he's going to pick up another first down for the Tigers on this drive. Toss play out to Gator Jr. Left side, and he'll pick up seven more yards. And he's going to punch this one into the end zone for the Tiger touchdown to tie this ballgame up at seven apiece. Horn looking to throw it again. Over the middle, caught by Miller at the 48-yard line for the first down. Now another third and ten. Horn breaks the tackle, throws it out. It's picked off by Rayshon Griffin, the middle linebacker. And he's going to have a really good return here. Up out of bounds. No, he stayed inbounds and got taken out at the 38-yard line. Great play by the stud middle linebacker. Carroll going to take a shot deep right side. Caught by Zay Jones for the first down. A big time reception. And the Tigers up, up to 11 first downs already. Jeremy Carroll taking off left side again here. And he's going to dive for the pylon and get his first career rushing touchdown. 
Unreal, 13 yard touchdown run. Looking like a young Mike Vick out there. Patrick Horn tries to throw left side, deflected and intercepted by Baker. What a play by the outside linebacker coming through on the blitz. Catches it off the deflection from the defensive tackle. Take another look at it here. Not a very good throw, it was right to the defensive tackle. And MJ Gator Jr. is gonna punch this one into the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. Tigers now on top 21 to seven. After being down seven nothing. Horn left side, Beverly's got it and a nice tackle by Lee Jr. on the sideline. Macklin stuffed, he does not pick up the first down. Third and nine now here for the Tigers. Carroll, all day to throw it, and it goes right side to Matt Meeks, and a great block by Zay Jones springs him loose, and he is gone for his first career rushing touchdown. 28 to seven now, Tigers starting to pour it on. Just a huge play for the tight end. Seth Maddox looking for uh, Rayshon Griffin to have another stellar day, and he's off to a great start with that interception. Led the team in tackles last week as well. Left side pass here, picked off by Chris Numa. That is his second pick on the season for the star cornerback. He also had two pass deflections last week as well. Just another underthrown pass right there. A great interception from Chris Numa. And here's MJ Gator Jr. getting loose again, running through the safety. My goodness, he is gone. Unreal performance from him today already. 55-yard touchdown run. He's going to get called for another personal foul in the end zone. That's the second one in two weeks. Head coach Seth Maddox said he was so proud of MJ Gator Jr. first and foremost, and he had no doubt he got the game ball after that NCAA and T State game. And he also gave the game ball, or the honors, to the offensive line for helping him get all those yards and touchdowns. And that pass hits the grass. The offensive line set the tone from the beginning and did not look back for the Tigers last week. And that pass is also deflected away. The Hornets gonna take another shot here. Deep shot, left side caught by Miller. Lee Jr. can't bring him down until the 15 yard line. A great deep ball from Patrick Horn. And he can definitely sling it. First and 10 from the 15. Right side, Miller's got it. He's gonna break a tackle here at the 10 yard line. And he's gonna go into the end zone. What a great run after the catch. Cody Lee Jr. got pancaked by the other receiver. And the Hornets now on the board again, 35-14. As Zay Jones picks up a first down and a great run after the catch. He is looking to get that number one wide out spot. And he is winning the receiving battle so far today. And he gets another reception here to the 25-yard line, but he is beating Jarmel Lewis at the moment for that number one wideout spot. Carroll going to throw it again right side. MJ Gator Jr. has got it inside the 10, down to the 5-yard line, short of the first down marker. And they'll send on the field goal unit for a 22-yard attempt, and it is pushed to the right. Do not kick with these teams, folks. <laughs> Hornets on offense now, over the middle. Should have been picked off by Lee Jr. He misjudged where the ball was at. Third and 10. And the Hornets actually have their backup quarterback in now. There was no injury to Patrick Horn. And they're gonna fake the punt here and Macklin doesn't get anywhere. Rayshon Griffin gets his first tackle of the game. It was a tackle for a loss. And a turnover on downs. Carroll on the option, pitches it out to Barber. He's going to get close to the first down marker here and a face mask, personal foul. Personal foul. <laughs> Carroll going to throw it again, over the middle, caught by MJ Gator Jr. And you don't really need a number one wide receiver when you've got a halfback that can catch every pass thrown to him. Carroll all day, right side, Matt Meeks, and he gets his second touchdown of the game. The matchup nightmare for the Tigers coming through again for the touchdown. Smith over the middle, nice catch by Beverly. Third and 10 now. Smith, deep shot, left side, caught by Harris. Lee Jr. and Chris Numa getting beat again on that left side. 
Beverly on the toss play, and Cody Lee Jr. just popped Beverly at the 45-yard line. Great open field tackle. Beverly stood no chance on that run play whatsoever. Lee Jr. just lowers that shoulder, puts it into his chest. And Beverly stuffed again. That was Rayshawn Griffin. The second tackle for a loss. MJ Gator Jr. bounces back into the end zone. Almost gets taken down for a safety. But does get it out of the end zone. Third and seven. And Carroll's got all day to throw it. And he is just going to take off. Down at the seven yard line. Tigers will punt the ball away. Still on top. 42 to 14. Here in the Delaware State Hornets Stadium. Huge catch by Miller, and he cuts back to the inside, and he's gone. Just a subtle little cut to the inside was enough to get past Cody Lee Jr. And here's Matt Meeks running through a cornerback, picking up another first down. He's got 95 yards on three receptions today. Barber with a carry, and he'll get the first down. 100 yards up the gut so far for the Tigers today. MJ Gator Jr. jukes to the outside, past the 30, the 20, and he is gone again. And he is electric, folks. Might be looking at the next Walter Payton Award winner. Hornets back on offense, and Smith is sacked on the outside linebacker blitz, going untouched. Maddox very happy with his play from his defense today. And that pass deflected by Numa, almost picked off. Fourth and 16. Hornets are going to punt the way, punt away the ball to Chris Numa, the very dangerous punt return man. He had a touchdown last week, and he's on the sideline now, and he's going to have another punt return for a touchdown, his second on the season. Very dangerous player on special teams, on defense. If the ball is near him, he will make a play. Smith's going to throw left side again. Fenner has it. Sorry for the uh, drop frames, guys. I'm still working on that issue. Possibly my cord. I don't know. Nice catch by Harris. They're getting close to the first down marker. Third and one. Beverly stuffed again. That is Ray Sean Griffin. All three of his tackles today are for a loss. Beverly again. This time he gets stuffed by Kyle Rose. And the Tigers defense comes through with a huge stop. Barber on the carry. Up the gut. And Oju can pick up eight yards. And his brother, I'm assuming, J.J. Barber, gets the first down on the ground. Evan Barber with a toss play. A lot of blockers in front of him. And he gets taken down at the 22-yard line. 6.4-yard average for him today on seven carries. Barber with a throw now to Matt Meeks to the 25-yard line. Meeks only had one catch for 29 yards last week. Barber going to throw it to Zay Jones. He's got it, and he's going to go into the end zone. For the touchdown, that's his second touchdown on the season. He had a 26-yard reception for a uh, touchdown last week, his only catch of the game. MJ Gator Jr., player of the game, 178 yards on the ground, four touchdowns. He had a few receptions. Here's a deep pass, right side, incomplete from the Hornets. They are down 63-21, to and that is going to be the final in this ACC showdown. Tigers come out on top. You can only imagine how happy Seth Maddox is with this victory. I look forward to the interview after the game, but another phenomenal performance by his team. They did allow 21 points today, though, so maybe uh, some fine-tuning for the defense going into their Week 3 matchup. 334 yards allowed by them today. 549 yards of offense, 270 on the ground, 279 passing for the Tigers. A very dangerous, very balanced attack. 28 points in the second quarter, 21 in the fourth quarter for the Tigers with all their backups in. And it really bodes well for the Tigers that none of their players have been suspended this season. I have heard from Maddox that all of the guys are doing great in class. Their assistants are working double time to make sure that everybody's going to class, keeping their head in the game. Big day for Matt Meeks, 101 yards, two touchdowns. Zay Jones, 85 yards and a touchdown. Jarmel Lewis, one catch, 21 yards today. And he only had one catch last week as well. So he's got two catches on the season for 70 yards and one touchdown. 
Cody Lee Jr., five tackles today. Numa with four. Rayshon Griffin, three, and they were all for a loss. Kyle Rose, three tackles, two for a loss. And I am really liking what the Tigers are doing right now. They put up a lot of points here in only two games. 78 points last week and 63 points this week. Unreal numbers, folks. Five pass deflections for Chris Numa, two for Cody Lee Jr. A couple big hits today from him as well. We didn't see any of Paul Carroll today, who uh, the fullback, who had 13 broken tackles, apparently. He was joking around with MJ Gator during the pra uh, practice this week. He wants more touches, but we didn't really see him at all today. Maybe next week. As they take on the 23rd ranked Ohio Bobcats, they might be ranked higher or lower. I do not know yet. That'll be a good matchup, the toughest game on the Tigers' schedule. Our next game, which will be out tomorrow, is the Dayton Flyers, who are 0-1 after a loss to Central Michigan as they travel to San Jose, California to take on the 18th-ranked San Jose State Spartans. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy, guys.